page. That will take you in a new page. Um, first off, I'm going to talk about uh, what's a better game, flash game, uh, with the device and data a little a lot better, better than in our game. But uh, for us, it was a very big success. Uh, our first game yeah, was a flash app and with those basic statistics, and uh, then we made money cards. For uh, just having uh, one million more plays and uh, half the host and uh, made three times uh, the income. Also, uh, I will talk about the uh, community launch um, and how did uh, a community launch help in Alibax to earn more money or get the move there and our marketing tactics. There is our kind of marketing tactics and how to interface very smart in the game. So, uh, well, first of all, we might be low to the uh, 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 a list of comments. Uh, you can vote uh, if you uh, like it or not. So, uh, uh, I started as a, an artist for game designer. I made a right right term almost by the same class. Almost like. We got a uh, uh, LK uh, uh, from a friend there. All the code and uh, uh, most of the game design was made. Uh, I just founded a game launch project. Builder and we need to be all the fun for it. And we didn't all 
also uh, fix the bug problem, know the bug problem, and it wasn't intuitive at all. So our good score uh, went from 3.97 to a solid, not a solid, but 2.84, a lot worse. So uh, I'm going to change the plans. I decided to focus on fun. Uh, this meant a uh, polish, and, uh, I'm sorry, test. Uh, until it's fun. Ask girlfriend, ask uh, sister, friends, um, Greg, uh, etc. Et <laughs> uh, well, focus also on polish, uh, usability, and simplicity. Uh, it has to be an impressive game, so we hired a good musician, uh, Roland Perez. He, he makes the best music we have done in many games uh, together. Uh, focus also in replayability, uh, replayability and imitate popular standards like, for example, um, uh, Curse of Treasure, it's a popular game. We try to imitate some of their features. Plus, we made, uh, I wanted to make a good lunch and uh, concrete, in my opinion, uh, it's, it has the best uh, uh, community system uh, out there, it really helped uh, us all uh, to improve the game. So I thank them for that. Thank you. Um, and also, we implemented marketing tactics. Uh, and we, I have some, for me, interesting uh, data I would like to share later about them. And here's nine facts. Uh, we will be called, you can see, we improved a lot the graphics. We had towers, and now it's more on TV, a strategy here. As a strategy game, and uh, we added a talent tree player leveling. And here's a short video I made, it's not as cool as the, la the last video. Well, it's the best thing I can do. <laughs> Uh, 
she managed all the, she was like the lead artist, uh, Ronnie Altares and Francisco Martinez. Well, about the community lunch, um, I want to emphasize this. Uh, it was the, the key element that, uh, of a, a body black success. Uh, our objective with the community lunch uh, is listen and reply to players. It's like being there uh, permanently, uh, get involved with uh, their experience and fix bugs, uh, add new features by popularity and gather feedback and build a fan base. Um, uh, when we made the community launch, uh, our involvement with player experience was such that uh, many of them uh, identify us as one of the best developers and you come here. It isn't reality, but they say, oh man, you're, you're so cool. Thanks for uh, caring about what, they, what we say, what we think. And if, uh, when players say that to us, it's really important. And we are really thankful. Uh, we prepared a team of two community managers. Uh, they were focused mainly in replying to players. And if they said, and we hate your game, and we asked them why they hate our, our game and apologize. And one bug fixer or feature other it was me. And from day one, we got a 383 similar to violin in guitar. And we on day two <laughs> dropped to a 3.51 because uh, we, I made a complete uh, stupid mistake. I uploaded a version that didn't work. You entered the game map, played a map, and just Game. So we spent um, day two and three to reply to all the players and, and say please come back to play your game because uh, we, we made a huge, huge mistake, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, even players that were listening to us uh, started telling all our players to forgive us for the mistake we just made and had patience. Well, uh, by the we reached uh, 4.28 and so the community launch uh, really paid off. Uh, well, before I continue, what we did uh, was just uh, fix bugs and add some features that we could add in a short uh, period of time. So uh, I think most the, the, the thing that affected the, the game the most was just fixing bugs and improve the game experience. Well, our marketing tactics can be uh, simplified in just a, a small list. Um, add a game guide. Uh, add a, pay attention to more games and sports or logo and how it can affect the, the player's uh, actions to the, to the sponsor site. Um, and add a button charm button because uh, by the is also in Hungary and, and we use our inspiration um, based in Epic War series, Cyclomenix and Epic Worms. Uh, all, all these games were very effective in their marketing. And this is the data I was talking about. I think it's pretty impressive. Um, well, it's clear for me that Game Guide is really a useful tool to get new users to the sponsor, um, actually, is the is the best uh, is the best of all. Um, I'm surprised to see also that more games is one of the less effective one. And well, Bunny Charm did, did its part in the in the main menu. So we had a, uh, from the six million plays, uh, 1.5 million clicks to the sponsor site. And a, two, and a total of 260,000 new visitors, I guess, new visitors. Um, they are generally uh, complete new referrals uh, from buying flags to Congress. So, in my honest opinion, what makes a better game? In our experience, polished, nice graphics, no bugs, music and sound, of course, popular features, but I need to be uh, I need to emphasize this, uh, community launch really makes the
the difference. If you stay there just three days and keep listening to players and interacting with them, uh, it really it will make the difference. We just released two games and some bus and battle stands and it didn't make miracles, but it did help a lot. Um, and marketing tactics will provide more money uh, to sponsor and to you. Um, well, uh, Money Flags 2, yeah, we're working on it. Um, we're making it more deep, more classes, more, a lot more weapons. We're adding equipment and support to look, at, look uh, like more Call of Duty or such. Uh, more type of enemies. New scenario, talent tree, achievements. Level editor and a complete new style. Thank you. <laughs> Questions? Yes. Could you go back to your slide in regards to the marketing graph? Could you explain that a little bit more? Like, what do the different, the six different bars exactly mean? Well, the six different bars means the different uh, game pages, like uh, the first bar is the main menu, after the introduction comes the main menu. The talent tree is uh, a page uh, where the player selects different stats to improve. The statistics is a game page uh, after the game that uh, summarizes the, the player's performance. So what, is it, what does this all involve with marketing though? Are you well, talking marketing. About ads on those pages, or mm? Are you talking about there are ads on those pages, or? No, no, no. no. Uh, well, the, uh, the, 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 the what I want to say here is how the activity the players had through our game to the sponsor side. Specifically, we uh, kept track of the number of clicks players did. In the logo, in, the, in their buttons, we added uh, some more games. And for example, in Talent Tree, we added a button called Tips. So whenever players thought they needed help about how using the Talent Tree, uh, they click the Tips button. Right, and then that would go out. That will take you in a new page to the sponsor side. Put it on the site and waited for everyone to 